Dak Prescott took a beating for those comments last week supporting Jerry Jones' stance on the anthem. He then made these comments to the Stark Telegram on Tuesday. I think there was a little misunderstanding of the fact of what I believe in. I never said I didn't believe in social injustice and things that were going on. I just said I didn't think that the national anthem was the time. It's two minutes out of our day that we could also be spending embracing what our country should be and what our country is going to be one day that we know that it's not right now. That's the sad part about it, that, that it's not. Joining us now is former Cowboy Darren Woodson at the desk. I'll start with you, Darren. What would you think of Dak's comments? The initial comments? I thought he was way off base in the initial comments, and I think he's put in a bad position by the, the owners and Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones at the same time. But I think he was off base uh, the first go around. I think he tried to clean it up last, the, the second time around in, in the fact of saying, you know, basically it's, you know, that the, the, the players had the right to protest. And I think that was the big misunderstanding the first time around. He, he made it seem like the players didn't have a right to protest uh, on those days. But I think he came back around. Listen, the one thing about Dak Prescott is this. What we're not seeing, what we're seeing is everything on the surface. We're seeing him after a practice, and he has to comment on the national anthem after the owners put him in a situation. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing after practice, he comes in, he has to comment on this. What we're not seeing is what the man does in Dallas. I, I, admit, I live in Dallas. I see this guy on, on a personal basis all the time. I see what he does in the community. I see what he does along with the, with the Cowboys. I think that's what we're not that's what we're not talking about that and that's what he's not bringing to the forefront. He's throwing out these words and, and people are our device society today we're so divisive in everything we say. So everything that we say now we're going to take take on and we're going to go at it. Well, and I think that's where he is right now. I think he's in a position right now where he can't win with the organization. That's one. Mm -hmm. And now he's trying to make it right on the opposite side with the, with the current but, players and those in the, in the community. But as you articulated yesterday and as Max has articulated on several occasions, it's just about doing the right thing. Um, I didn't misinterpret his comments as saying that he was unaware or oblivious to the social justice issue. Um, he was talking about, you know, going beyond just kneeling and protesting and what have you and doing something more that he wanted to be about action moving forward. He, he lost the lead because that should have been the lead. Talking about partnering with Malcolm right. Jenkins and those boys and those brothers for the players coalition and, and seeing what they could do moving forward. We support that. Where I think Dak Prescott was certainly held accountable by me and should be held accountable by everybody is that you came across as somebody that did not want to address what Jerry and Stephen Jones said. Absolutely. And you are yeah. the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, but you are also a black man, a black man from Louisiana who went to Mississippi State, who is fully aware of racial oppression, racial inequality, and things of that nature. You are an articulate young man fully capable of expressing yourself and your position. And like I said on my radio show yesterday, Will, I said it to everybody. I said, look, you could sit there and say to folks, I don't really like some of the things I heard Jerry and Steven say. That's my business. That ain't for y'all to know, but I'm going to have a conversation with them. And left it at that. But to just bypass yeah. their dismissive tendencies and their dismissive verbiage and just go this route, you came this across as tone deaf, and you cannot do that as the star quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys when you got an owner like Jerry Jones and his son Stephen Jones sitting there talking about total line. We don't care what yeah. the rule of the NFL that's is. We're going to do it our way. Wait, Can't do that. That's the point. This is why I have a problem with Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones sets this framework. When the owner of the franchise is crystal clear about where he stands on this, and you are the quarterback and leader of the franchise, and someone who's trying to bring a group of guys together and lead them forward, yeah. how do I know? Now, listen, his First Amendment right to say what he believes. It works both ways, not just when I agree with it. Even if I don't agree with Dak Prescott, okay, so he feels that way. Good for, I just don't know if he really feels that way. Right. I assume he, I don't know, because he's leading a team where the owner said, this is the way it's going to be. What choice does he have? And it's interesting. I, I said yesterday, um, Jerry Jones is a slave to the money. You know, kids, make your money. Money's important. Don't be a slave to it. Jerry Jones is a slave to the money. What's the stadium in Dallas called? AT&T. AT I just wonder if the position of people at AT&T, mm -hmm. where they stand on the anthem issue, right? And how that jives you know, with what Jerry Jones has said mm. and how that affects what Dak Prescott is now saying. 
Dak Prescott, in my estimation, said nothing wrong on either occasion, before and after. And I don't think, for that matter, he really changed his message from the first moment to this clarification that was unnecessary. Max, the reason you may not believe what he said, yes, I understand that his employer requires it, but it's also because you're requiring one standard, one action, one message from somebody who believes that social injustice may exist no, in this not. country. Dak Prescott's being very clear. That's the problem with this message, in my estimation. I don't understand Hold what on. you just said. I'm going to to clarify. It's been required that you adopt everything wholeheartedly. I, for example, as someone who said, I understand there's social injustice. We need to talk about each of these issues independently, work through them together. But at the same time, I can say the national anthem is not the time or the place for the protest. That's what Dak said. I'm not arguing he that, Will. I'm saying that because of Jerry Jones's position, I now do not, I can't, I have to take every public statement made on the issue by a Dallas Cowboy with a great assault. That's fine. That's what his employer requires, by the way, which is something we've talked about on this, on this program that every one of us has to adhere to on a daily basis. So that's not unique to Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys, or Dak Prescott. That's pretty much coherent and consistent. No, 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 wait, hold on, real quick, wait, real, real quick. I'm not saying that Jerry Jones is saying we're not going to comment on political issues. That's one thing. You could say you work for a corporation where you really shouldn't be commenting on or don't take a side on political issues. Mm -hmm. He has been crystal clear about how he wants his team to approach the anthem, period. That's why if a Dallas Cowboy is speaking about this publicly, you just don't know. Well, well yeah, yeah, that's right. And But to get to your point, let's be clear. Not only is what Max saying is right on the money in terms of what Jerry has been doing, but Jerry has been doing it against the wishes of the NFL. Yeah.